great 10 children welcome once again to our english lesson this lesson focuses on unit 13 of your grade 10 textbook this is the last lesson we are going to study for unit 13 we are going to study grammar let's learn how to use future perfect tense correctly let's start the lesson children we have already learned future perfect tense in one of our earlier lessons it's unit 4 lesson 5 in that lesson i taught all the basics of future perfect tense i hope you have watched it and if you have not done so subscribe to our channel and watch it first today we are going to practice more on the same tense children we use future perfect tense to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point of time in the future we add time expressions such as by the time by then by the year 2021 by march 25th to construct sentences in this tense Look at these examples. The first example is she will have forgotten everything by tomorrow. In this sentence the action forgetting everything will happen at a particular point of time in future which is tomorrow. Now look at the second sentence. Here the sentence says he will have written the letter by 10 a.m. According to this sentence The action writing the letter will be completed at a particular point of time in future. This time is indicated as by 10 a.m. Children, in future perfect tense, we use will have plus past participle form of the verb. Okay children, I hope now you can understand when to use and how to use future perfect tense. Okay children as you are familiar with the future perfect tense let's do an exercise to practice it in this activity there are five sentences with blanks you have to fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb given within brackets pause the video and do it okay let's see whether you could do it correctly look at the first one they blank there is says by tomorrow within brackets you have the verb write so how do you fill the blank you will have to write they will have written their essays by tomorrow now the second one i blank reading this book by 6 in the evening within brackets you have finish so how do you write that I will have finished reading this book by 6 in the evening. Now the third one. Mr Pereira blank his car by next week. What is the verb given within brackets? It's repair. So how do you fill the blank? Mr Pereira will have repaired his car by next week. Look at the fourth one. she blank jafna by 10 pm and the verb given is reach so how do you fill the blank she will have reached jafna by 10 pm now the last one the police blank the driver by tomorrow and within brackets you have the verb arrest so the answer should be the police will have arrested the driver by tomorrow i hope you could get all correct okay children let's do one more activity this is activity 7 on page 137 of your textbook here you have a dialogue between chamit and raman you have to read it and fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb given within brackets pause the video and do the activity now okay let's check your answers 
I will read the completed dialogue then you can check whether your answers are correct. What do you think will have changed by the year 2030? I think astronauts will have landed on Mars by the year 2030. Do you think scientists will have found a cure for AIDS by then? They will not have done that, but I think they will have invented multi-duty robots to do human work. Wow, that's great! Surely by that time we will have completed our education. Yes, we will have started our careers by then and robots will be there to do the work for us. Okay children, I think it's easy and I hope you could do it correctly. Children, that marks the end of our lesson. In this lesson, we practiced grammar. We learned how to use future perfect tense correctly. As I mentioned at the beginning of this lesson, this is the second lesson on future perfect tense. Subscribe to our channel to watch all these useful lessons. Goodbye.